Hello everyone, welcome back. <coughs> this is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to set up and configure Root CA on Windows Server 2016. So there's a few steps um, um, to run to install uh, Certificate CAs. First, you need to install the Certificate CA and then install the OCS P roles and then um, configure policy and templates. So now let's get started. So I have Windows 2016 server here. I'm going to launch Server Manager. Click on Manage, Add Roles and Features. Click Next and Next. Next again, Active Directory Roles, Certificate Service. Click Add Features. Click Next. And Next again. And Next. So I'm going to install the Certificate Enrollment Policy Web Service. So you're going to need this one. You can install it later or you can install it now. In this video, I'm going to do it now. This is only for um, if you're using VPN to enroll in the client certificate or even SCCM internet-based client, you will need certificate enrollment policy web service. The certificate enrollment web service, I don't need that. Um, Oops, wrong one. It should be Certificate Authority Web Enrollment, not the second one. Um, the third one is the Online Responder. This is required if you, um, it's to validate that the certificate requests from clients are valid or not. So it's required. Next, and next, here's all the role services that's required when you chose um, the options in the previous screen. I'm going to click next and install. It's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back. All right, look like the installation has completed. Now we need to configure it. You can click right here, say configure Active Directory Certificate Service, or you can click from here. So let's, I'm going to see, um, I'm going to click this. I'm going to take as default. First, I'm going to configure Certificate Authority. Click Next. It's going to be Enterprise CA. Root CA, you want to make sure you choose Root CA. Next. We're going to create a new private key. You can choose the default. Just leave it alone there. Next. Common name. You can call it anything you want here. Um, basically, it's just the domain server. I'm going to leave that as default. Distinguish name suffix. Preview distinguished name, that's fine. I'm going to click next. Sp specify the validity, validity period. It's five years by default. I'm going to, well, I'm going to leave it as five years. That's good enough. Click next. Next and configured. 
success, close. It's going to ask me to configure the other two rows. I'm going to click yes. Next, going to check both of them and next and configure it. I should see all greens. There it is. And close. <clears throat> All right, so now we need to open up MMC. We're going to type in search here. Let me minimize this screen. I'm going to type in MMC here. I'm going to run as administrator. Click file and then add in snap in. You need to add all the certificate snapped in. Snap in template here. Click add. Certificate. Click add. You want to make sure it's computer account. And certificate authority local computer and okay now let's go to let me expand this go to certificate authority local click on this one arrow down click on certificate template right click Go to manage. All right, here. So you want to go into OCS SP response signing. Go to properties. So you want to go to security. So you want to add the servers um, access to enroll and auto enroll so click on locations that's correct I'm gonna search for this server oh, I gotta check the computer objects you want to make sure you check the computer servers is servers 2016 2016-001 click on check you want to make sure you check these two items enroll and auto enroll or you can give it a full control I'm going to give it a full control but it's not required click apply and OK I'm going to close this I'm going to click on the servers and then go to properties. Need to go to extensions. So I need to create um, the servers address here. Go into authority informations and then click on add. I want to type in HTTP colon slash slash and then the server name which is servers 2016-001 dot my domain name Carson Cousin Cloud. Oops, misspelled that one. Dot local. Forward slash OCSP. I'm going to click OK.
I'm going to check this bug here. Click apply. Yes, restart the service. Click OK. Next thing we need to create certificate um, OCSP certificate signing. Click on the certificate template. Right click and then go to new certificate template to issues. Looking for OCSP. Click OK. There it is. Let's take a look, make sure it's OK. Everything is normal. OK, looks great. Now, the last thing we're going to do is um, we're going to configure the GPO. I'm going to minimize this and launch the um, to see GPO. Oops. Look on MMC again. Group policy management. Click on domain. I'm going to click on default domain. Right click and then go to edit. Going to under configuration, computer configuration, policies, Windows settings, security settings, and public key policies. Double click on that. And now click on certificate service client auto enrollment. Let's enable it. You want to check this box and this box. Leave as default. Click OK. <clears throat> I'm going to restart the servers. All right, the servers has came up online again. I'm going to click on Server Manager. <clears throat> click on Tools. Click on Online Responder Management. OK. Here it is. Let's click on Array Configurations. As you can see, there's nothing here. Now let's click on revocation configuration. Right click and then click on add. Click next. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this my servers 2016. That's zero one. That's fine. Oops. All right, I'm going to click next. 
select certificate in existing CA, click next. Click on browse. Here's the um, the CA. It's already highlighted. Click OK. As you can see, click next. Now you just have to verify that, make sure everything is correct here. Click, make sure this box is checked. Auto. The certificate template is all responding. Now click next. Click finish. All right. Now it says it's it's green and it says it's working. Now. All right, look like it is working now. So that's all there is to it. Um, the root certificate CA and auto sign online signing is working. Um, so now you can use the root CA to support your applications like configuration manager or even P VPN servers. That's it, folks. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.